I don't know how tall Elvis was, but he's like this big. <laughs> it could work. Yeah. He's like he's a small dude. It could work. Get, get you some nut shots. I heard he could fit in Priscilla's pocket. <laughs> Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it. These guys, and me, I'm Josh. And hi, your Easter Bunny. Uh, these folks like playing in front of sad and drunk teenagers for no money and uh, taking long walks on the beach. Please welcome back to the channel with some modifications, The Social Set. Say hi, guys. Ooh, hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I don't oh, know where I'm supposed on. to look. All right, so uh, th that's the audience. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Hi, hi, audience. Um, so, for those of for if you're watching this and you don't know who the band is, thank you. Uh, for those of you who don't know who the band is, please introduce yourself. Tell them what you do. Uh, I'm Heather. I'm the lead vocalist and guitarist. Are we going on the line? Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm Joshua. I'm the host of Room Six. <laughs> He's in the band too. Um, I'm Olivia. I play drums. I'm Isaiah. I'm the bass guitar player. What? I, I apologize. I thought I thought I was I thought I was ready. I thought, you I thought was we good. didn't have a bass player. No. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know. <laughs> oh my That's gosh! So All right, <laughs> interview's going great. So, <laughs> and if you want just this high quality type of interview for yourself, <laughs> there's a link down in the description. Fuck it, we're doing it live. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. Uh, welcome to Room Six, guys. Mm. Clink. Thank you. Clink. Oh, actually, it was a clunk. Oh. Love that room six merch. All right. Um, so first of all, let's get this out of the way. What's new? Uh, just what you been, doing? Just been doing a lot of practicing and recording. Right off. You, have a, you, have, you have a new EP, right? Yeah, we have a new EP, Happy, that'll be out at the end of August. It's just called Happy? Yes, Happy. Pharrell Williams might have a problem with that. Uh, We've gone into court with him already. Uh, he's been very nice. Uh, swell gentleman. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right. Um, and on the EP, mm -hmm. who's playing guitar? Me. That's right. Because you said you sing. I'm the vocalist and guitar player. Right, you didn't say that. I did. I thought. Did I not say it? Run it back! <laughs> Uh, I'm Heather. I'm the lead vocalist and guitarist. Now that I've made a complete ass of myself, dummy. Um, I didn't. Let's talk about I can't on Mormon. Oh, what about I can't? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, great name. Second of all, where did that name come from, and and how did that become the social set? Uh, so I can't on Mormon was something that, what was his name? The guy that was running for president opposite Obama. What was the Mormon guy, I can't Mitt remember. Romney? Mitt yeah, Romney. Mitt Romney. Yeah, yeah, it was from a Mitt Romney interview. He, there's, a, there's a company that's called I Can't Mormon that was like promoting him. That's hilarious. Yeah. Wow. Not but, unrelated. No. Unrelated to the band. Very punk. Unrelated to the band. Very, very punk. People with the political uh, thing. I like it. And our... Uh, lead guitarist from that band came up with the name. Okay. And when we when we disbanded from him, uh, we had to change our name because he had came up with the name. And, so, and, and it went on to you know be worldwide famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we changed it to the social set, which was Isaiah's idea. Okay. Now, last time they were here, I asked them a lot of my season one and season two usual questions, and so. Coming up, you know, I, I'm trying to dig a little deep, bit deeper now. Let's talk about Cody Levitt. Cody Levitt? He's yeah. so cool. He's, so a, he's a great so guy. So handsome. <laughs> so handsome. Very cool. He runs Asteroid M, our record label. Yes, and he does. he's recorded everything that I've ever uh, recorded. A few of your uh, label mates have been on the show. Yeah. Um, how did that, like, where did you meet him? So I met him at a kickback in a trailer. Can you, can you describe that for people who don't Yeah, know? so there's this band, Drinking Water, that used to play out here all the time, and they were, like, 
throwing a go away, uh, going away kickback at their trailer because they were going back to Arizona for a little bit. And they asked me and my, our old lead guitarist, Alan, uh, when we were in a band called Earthlings Welcome that was just starting. And this was like our first show that we were, we were going to do was at this kickback. And it was just me and him on acoustic guitars. Mm-hmm. And we went and hung out and played some songs. And Cody Levitt saw us and was like, you guys are great. Uh, I want to record you guys. He All he had was an 8-track. And he was working out of uh, yes. Camel Hump Studios. Yes, Camel Hump Studios. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, like a week later, we went and started recording an EP with him, and the rest is history, and I've been recording with him ever since. Noise. I, yeah, I, I saw that name, and I was like, huh, because I, I knew, you know, Asteroid M Records, and, and the name's been definitely brought up in my attention before, but I didn't realize that, I, I don't know why, I didn't realize you were, you were on Asteroid M Records. Yeah, we are. So, cool. It um, was uh, Werewolf Productions before. Oh. Because he's the Water Street Werewolf from Henderson. Oh, sure he is. That's what? What he's, that's, that was his nickname. <laughs> okay. Oh, his drinking nickname or something like that with his friends. The wall, Water Street Werewolf. Nice. Yeah. Um, how has uh, uh, COVID affected you individually and, uh, and as a band? We just haven't been able to play shows. Right. That's pretty much the only thing that really affected because we just practiced. Yeah, so we, kept, we, kept we kept practicing for sure. And coming up with new songs, like we have probably a couple more EPs with the new songs. Nice. Uh, You're just like a songwriting machine, though. That's all it is. Well, that's like the way to do it. Is them out. Always have it. Yeah, I have, I have 65 songs right now that... Cool, yeah, man. Aren't, that's amazing. ...aren't, aren't uh, <laughs> set for any project yet. Genius. Genius. Innovator. Nice. Depressed. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Same. But but you know what you're you're doing something with it at least. Yeah. Um, is there's there's being creatively depressed and then there's being depressed because you're not being creative. Yeah. And I. I'm both. On many both YouTubers basis. know this. I I go through this, literally once a week where I'm just like, why am I bothering? What what's the point? Oh my god! I how do I not have anything scheduled for this this Wednesday or this Saturday? You know and and because uh, it doesn't matter how many like you said. You can have a ton of songs, and yet you always feel like, I don't have enough. Yeah. You know, I've, I've had like three weeks of videos just posted and scheduled on YouTube before, and before I knew it, oh crap, I'm out. Yeah. And I have no ideas. So yeah. Um, now we talked about the EP, Happy. Mm-hmm. It, new shows coming up? Sh- so we just played one show. You yes, did. It was in, so cool. In Isaiah's backyard. It was so cool, Isaiah. You did such was, a good job. It was so great. Thank, it was fun. Thank, it was, it was thank awesome. you for yeah. having us. Fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> and yourself. No problem. I mean, uh, the band! I think they just put us on the show because, because it was your house. Because it was my house. Because yeah. it was like a grindcore show. Yeah, it was. We, no we were the odd, yeah, we were the odd ones out. <laughs> I saw the but Somehow saw we the ended up with, with the best crowd reception of the night. Of course you did. Yeah. On the social side, side of being drunk. Got so yeah. much dirt in my face. Yeah. It was good time. Wait, that's, could, a good, that's a good show? When you I, couldn't oh, yeah. breathe, I couldn't breathe for the Because if, yeah, I was about to say, if there's, no, really if there's no dirt in your face, nobody was dancing. Oh, because there was like a pit or what? Yeah. There you go. I was like, why would... No, they were just throwing dirt at right? us. Right? Yeah. Said, <laughs> I wasn't aware it was a thing in punk shows. It was just like, you guys are great, Claude. And they're like, Whoa. That's, how, you know, that's just how people show gratitude these days. It's like, it's like, we're still relearning after COVID. It's like the Blues the, Brothers with the uh, chicken wire fence and the bottles. <laughs> oh, man. That would be so cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so I want to ask, I want to get into some individual questions, if you don't mind. Don't. <laughs> uh, and we're going to start with the newbie, <laughs> Olivia. Yes. Where did you meet these psychos? Yes. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I met Heather, God, like, so long ago at this yeah. uh, punk rock bowling pre-game show. PBR. Pre-game show at a house. Or PRB. And yeah. I just remembered you. I'm so sorry. Can I say, can I tell yeah, this? Yes, tell, tell this story. <laughs> I remembered seeing you at a Less Than Jake show because you got pulled up on stage. Yes. I'll leave it there. But huh. you got you got no, pulled no, up on no, stage no and it was like this crazy thing and then like a couple weeks later I saw you at a backyard show. Me and my ex at the time were like, That's the person that was on stage at the Less Than Jake show. And we came up to you like, Were you that person? And you were like, Yeah. And I, I feel like at some point uh I added you online or vice versa. Stalked her. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, just liked all your pictures, sent you a million messages saying, let me see Bob. <laughs> you know? Uh, wait. Wait. <laughs> Bob. Don't worry about I it. I feel it's like okay. I know this. I feel like I know this you, joke. It's, yeah, you know. Anyways. Um, and then you guys were doing, I can't, was it I can't? Or no, no, Earthlings Welcome. Yeah. You wanted a female drummer. Yeah. And I kept hitting you up for that. Yeah. And then I didn't get to do that with you. Yeah. Oh. Which is okay. Because now I'm with you now. Yeah. It's, it's cool. There you go. Isaiah I met because he moved into my house. And we were roommates for a little while. And he's he like it. super awesome, fun. Now roommate. you already knew he was in the band. Oh yeah. Okay. And then at suit, and they practiced at my house a couple times with their old drummer. With their old drummer, with Jen. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. With Jen and uh, <laughs> shout out, <laughs> Mr. Jen. Um, and uh, I know like at some point it was mentioned to me that you guys need a drummer, and I I hounded Isaiah like every day at home. I was like, I swear to God, I want to be in this band so because they were like one of my favorite local bands. Like every band that I've been in was one of my favorite local bands, and then I was able to join later. Oh, well, that's the ultimate so, fan <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, for sure. But like, it, and then it ended up working out. So nice. Um, would you still describe yourself as a paradox and a paradox? <laughs> a paradox and a paradox. Are you like on my Instagram? <laughs> I, I do my. That deep, is a line. I do from my deep diving. A song. You went Nardwar on us this time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I. I Where's I, my gifts? I, I, no, I'm I, just kidding. I went, oh, Sha- I went Sean oh, Evans from Hot Ones on you. I did my deep dive. Oh, I shit. want something <laughs> spicy to eat while I am. Let me. Can I eat the pepper? Uh, we were already talking about That's it. What pepper? Spicy pepper. pepper. <laughs> That's a bell pepper. I can pretend That's it's spicy. Scoville rating of zero. Yes, you can eat. I'm white. It's spicy. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, and then last question for you before we move on to, to yes. make someone else uncomfortable. Are you ready? Does Isaiah ever explain why men are just more comfortable pooping next to bears? Oh, <laughs> oh man. No, wait, did you ever explain that? No, but now we get that that's just the big prank we do on bears now. Yeah. We have a, a real good inside joke about our TV show about pranking bears. On Spike TV. On Spike TV. Spike TV, Spike TV pranking bears. bears. Yeah. We, we prank them. It's funny to us and not them. They can't yeah. do shit about it. It's the funniest thing you've ever saw. Right it's on. the funniest like, fucking thing it's ever. It's the funniest fucking thing you've ever seen. It's <laughs> now, just great. Actually, one more thing. I remember finding a drummer once. Uh, by, I need a drummer, and I went to a uh, like an open mic kind of thing. But it was like a one of those... You, you could tell there was a lot of talent in the room. And somebody needed a drum key, and the guy's like, here you go, and he had it on his keychain. I'm like, that's my guy. He ended up being a drummer for like two years or so. You one-up him. You got a freaking necklace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm yes. sorry. It's up. Yeah, this. Yes. <laughs> I was, I, I'm, looking at the, I'm looking at the drum key. Okay. okay. Happily married. <laughs> but uh, I, I just happened to notice, I was like, it's, yep. it's almost like that Thor's hammer only re- turned around. Yeah, but also you just never know. I think somebody at some point gave me one and it was like on a keychain. I was like, that's so cool. It is. And, you never and then I put it on a necklace and I've had this, I right. think, for like I've wanted to carry years. a guitar on my neck, but it, it's Maybe a microphone? Maybe. No, you got it. You just got to make a necklace out of extra strings. Oh, okay. Or, you know, there everybody you always yeah. needs an extra string. New right. strings. So. Hi, E. Hi. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> How has your writing changed if you have? Because uh, yeah. well, like in this this new EP, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. How is it compared to Five Hundred Days of Summer? Well, the thing about the new EP is we wrote these songs like Drunk! three, three <laughs> years ago, like three <laughs> years ago after Five Hundred Days of Summer. So they're oh, pretty, bummer. Sorry, I said summer. Yeah. So they're pretty close to the same style and same writing. And okay. Everything. We just haven't been able to finish him because we finished recording with Jen, Mm -hmm. but as soon as she left the band, he wanted, uh, Cody wanted us to redo it. So we had to redo all of it. And then through COVID and everything, it was, Mm -hmm. it was a whole thing. All right. Cause I honestly was, we didn't do any of the new songs. We didn't do any of the new songs. I was just curious, you know, with all the changes going on that was like, did suddenly your sound just completely change? Cause sometimes, but yeah, some of the new stuff that we have been doing has been a lot, uh, different. And especially with the addition of Olivia, mm-hmm. it has changed our sound uh, quite a bit. Right on. Yeah. Hit harder? Yeah. yeah. It's just... It's just heavier. It's just... Heavier it's just di- I, I got a different style. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. got a different style. Of course. That's I mean, all it that's is. That's what makes music amazing is no two people play the same, you know, 
two in the same. I night. took a lot of stuff uh, that Jen did though, and just kind of put my own spin on it. I would hope so. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't be fair for them to say we want it note for note. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's a tribute band. No. Also, I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So, <laughs> no offense. All right. Uh, still putting pizza in your pocket? Of course. Right <laughs> still eating cigarettes? Uh, it's, it's it's in my back pocket. That's all right. Is there pineapple on it? Yeah. Alright. Yes. <laughs> I'm interviewing two now. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Unsubscribe. Unlike. I think this is the second time we did this, but yes. Yes. But actually, <laughs> Number two. if you haven't tried it, my favorite pizza. Tangent. Mushroom pineapple and bacon bits with some barbecue drizzle. <laughs> I know. I, you just... Try it. No. <laughs> you try it, it, it'll change your life. You know you had me? <laughs> Until you said mushrooms? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're both you know, over like, here on the anti-mushrooms. So. Wow. I'm telling you. Is sorry. this going to be our, our, <laughs> how we break up? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we agreed, with, I mean, we agreed uh, on pineapple, look, right? The Nobody first, said anything the about The first mushrooms. time I liked mushrooms, like I don't know growing up I hated pineapple. mushrooms. The first time I ever enjoyed mushrooms was on pizza. And so it's always been like my gateway. I, have, I, I don't want to tell you how I enjoy mushrooms. I, I, have, <laughs> I actually have an interesting story about how the first time I had mushrooms on a pizza, uh -huh. I was hanging out outside of the house show, and some random man that wasn't at the house show came up to me and handed me a full pizza. Classic and it was deal. mushrooms. It had and you, and you and mushrooms, it. and I ate it. And nothing happened. Nothing happened. That I remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your stance with that said otherwise. That I remember. I think you no, remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was good. I just walked home and I was cool. Right. On. <laughs> Some dragon gave me. I seem to remember. I yeah. seem to remember a story about lost gear with you. <laughs> how many times? How many times does that person have to lose gear? You know. How many roads must a man walk? Anyway, um, last one for you. Okay. Do you remember to bring your mouth capo? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sparkly. Well, I'm just guessing. This is just me basically <laughs> going through the, like, you know, Facebook feeds or whatever and just be like grabbing whatever looks funny. So, <clears throat> Isaiah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Your time is coming. How's the buddy? meal, sir? <laughs> mm. It is divine. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you. Fuck. We're, I'm about. I'm about to to. Unintentionally refer to something we talked about off camera, so this is this is about to get weird. You proposed a plan for the movie industry to only make four movies a year. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit more, and why doesn't Dolly Parton get featured every other leap year? First of all, you know what? I never said she didn't. No. <laughs> I did. This guy oh, said. Did you? This guy oh, said. Man, who? You who up. did you say should be every leap year? So what, you want me to elaborate on my plan? <laughs> yes, damn it. Hollywood needs to know. If you made money off this, though, you owe him money. Okay, ten percent. Full, full disclosure, I, I might have been a little impaired when I made it. Oh, I <laughs> but, couldn't tell. But <laughs> um, what what were the movies? It, uh, one one rom com. One rom com. One Marvel. Yeah, of course, you gotta have a fucking Marvel movie every I mean, year, right? Let's, let's yeah. Mar Marvel is kicking yeah. DC's ass when it comes to the you know the movies. Oh. Yeah, um, fight me. I'm a Batman fan, but the movies suck. So anyway, Conjuring. After Michael Keaton, they just. We're, we're gonna talk. <laughs> a Conjuring, yes. Which it, it took me a second to realize what you meant, but I get it. Conjuring. Yeah. yeah. Um, the ones that actually make you scared. Straight to DVD Air Bud movie. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't have to be Air Bud. Oh yeah, could be Animal? could be Gus the 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 field kicking horse or yeah. something. The MVP, and <laughs> most, most valuable. Product. So yeah, that's all we need or... because basically there's too many movies. <laughs> all that artsy shit, get that shit out of my fucking face. Um, <laughs> but but I, but but then you said every other leap year, so eight years. Yes, every eight years you said Adam Sandler. Yeah. Good fuck, dude. He gets to make a little No, movie. Dolly Parton. Well, I think I'll Dolly hold up Parton 9 to 5 too... against anything Adam Sandler's done. She's too sacred sacred for cinema oh, at this oh, point. Oh, well. <laughs> show, I mean, show, show the, the woman shirt. plays oh, like... Show him the shirt. <laughs> oh, damn, I didn't even know this. <laughs> By the way, um... Call back. What are the odds? Dolly, I totally, call back. You can call see me. it. I, I, I totally didn't... I thought, I thought Dolly Parton would just be hilarious. Didn't even realize. That's hilarious. Um... <laughs> But she plays like nine instruments in a two-hour show. She's amazing. Yeah. Dolly Parton, adopt me. <laughs> and last one for you, before we get into the generic band questions. Okay? Any plans to enter the Morgan County mullet competition this year? 
Ooh. Asking, oh my asking God. funny asking for Thad. That got real. <laughs> funny <laughs> enough, um, there was actually a mullet competition. I'm aware. And, and um, my cousin won. <laughs> <laughs> so I, can't, I don't want to take that away from him. He's an estranged cousin. Distant. Oh. But um, we've never met him. We're not related, but you know. <laughs> too much. Too much party in the back, or what? It's just, his is immaculate. I, <laughs> I cannot. You I'm don't have mine out. Anymore. Yeah, I'm doing like a thing. Right you now. currently have Seattle grunge going, and it works for you. Thank you. With the nice Cavaricci '80s, you know, high this, cut jacket. This is bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so bougie? You're so, you're so extra. Why you got so many necklaces? How you go? <laughs> I don't know. You ever see how I'm going to get you, sucker? <laughs> All right. Um, was, was Dolly Parton in that? No. <laughs> well, then no. No. <laughs> but I only watch Elvis movies exclusively. Oh, really? Well, that's not going to work with his plan at all. There you go. Every other leap plan year of Elvis bait. movies. Oh, how about this? Every every other leap year, you alternate between what you Elvis mean? movies and Dolly Parton movies. I, I want, like Elvis and I want and remakes movies? of every Elvis movie right now. Well, who would play Elvis? Me. Oh, what are you talking about? Elvis is still alive. <laughs> right here. Yeah, you know? I'm perfect Elvis. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how tall Elvis was, but... He's like this big. <laughs> it could work. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's a small dude. It could work. Get, get you some mother chops. I heard he could fit in Priscilla's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something Whoa. inappropriate, but I'm not... Heather just on. jumped ahead in line. Right on. <laughs> so, all right. On to proper interview questions here. Oh, You're going to love this. <laughs> okay. How would you define your band's musical sound? Um, yeah, sad. It. Yeah, say it. Say it. <laughs> say the thing. Emo sad core. Cool and sexy. That's it. Yeah. That's okay. it. <laughs> okay, Luther Vandross. <laughs> cool, it's, it's sexy, and sad. Music, music for sad people who pee their pants. Oh, so the teens that are drunk. <laughs> yeah. No more. Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive. I'll cut them out. Exclusive. We're making Friday. sexy music. Yeah. Now. Let's get it on. Exclusively for middle-aged women. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Quote Jory Lopez. Music for winos. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Music for winos. Winos and cougars. Hit us up. The social set. Music for winos. <laughs> Noise. And bears. And bears. And bears. Music for winos and bears. But the bears don't like it. It's yeah. just for them anyway. Or music for pooping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my check now. Um, so that's just a little... It's always interesting to see how a band... To see, number one, who speaks up first, but also how a band kind of like defines their sound. And sometimes a band just... This is what we. This is our elevator pitch. This is what we say to booking agents or whatever. And then sometimes they're literally just quiet for like two minutes. Like, oh. Uh, I haven't met a booking agent. I... Beat the shit out of them. I it's beat funny the you say Don't call us. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. Book this is why I this handle is where he PR. <laughs> okay. now, He's a booking agent. You two know that I know. It, that we the know. Booking agents can... It, it's kind of this. Like You can have some really, really good ones, and then you can have some ones that are just totally... I'll just screw you over or just suck. It's... <clears throat> you know who you are. Yeah. But without booking agents, let's be honest, in this town, <laughs> this town is oversaturated with musicians. It would be really hard to get paying gigs. So, but then again, you played, you know, drunks for no money. So I've booked us on a hundred percent. You're a booking agent, <laughs> unless you're a cover act. We've oh, got yeah. paid but that's probably why we don't get paid for our shows because right I book our shows. We get paid <laughs> at shows, but it's not for the us playing the music. Right they on. pay us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that's 50 enough. bucks and we won't get off stage. <laughs> <laughs> Every time the slider moves, here's another 25 bucks. <laughs> Alright, um, moving on. How long have you you've been doing music, just in general? Longer than Because these two already answered this question last time. Um, probably since I was like 15. So like four years ago? <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Aww. You have a wife, you're used to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 28. So. Right on. Yeah. So, you've been playing music as long as my daughter's been alive. She's 13. That's really what sparked it, is at a certain point I knew she was born, and I'm just, wow. since, <laughs> since, since then I've just Have been to going to town. Keep yeah. going, keep, yeah. all right. Um, now, what was, <clears throat> I'm just going to basically ask you the questions I asked them last time, so. 
Uh, no, <laughs> yes. but no, feel free to chime in also, of course. Yes. What was the musical influence that like got you? Oh, no. What was your earliest musical influence? The thing that was like, I want to do that, or I want to sound like that. God. It was, uh, it's not even like I wanted to sound like that, or... Really, it's been like two years since you guys were here? I know. I feel... Uh, that's such a weird question. Um, I don't know. It kind of like progressive... I progressively fell into it because in like middle school, I joined band because everything else was super boring. That was an elective. Right. And uh, at first, I, I wanted to play saxophone because I thought it was like cool and sexy. And you get to wear like silk shirts and <laughs> in In things. high school band? I don't, I just in saxophone life. Okay. That's what it was. The life of a saxophone. But then I saw all the kids that were in percussion at the beginning of the year. They had an array, like, like, an, like just so many, no, just so many instruments. Like there's so many different oh, yeah. instruments for percussion. You're not just stuck with one thing. And because I didn't want to do other things because they were boring. I was like, why would I just stick with one thing? This thing has so many other things that you can play. And I immediately switched to percussion and I started doing that. And then jazz band, you could play a drum set, and I did that, and yeah. you know what I mean? And just whatever, it kind of went from there. I, I think jazz band is so important for teaching you actual musicianship. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you can say, oh, yeah, I know how to it play It was that. so different from regular class. Yeah, I know like, how to play this current song by Bruno Mars or whatever. But then you, you get into jazz, and you're like, holy crap, I know nothing. Who actually knows how to play their music? I yeah. Just do it. More importantly... <laughs> Just when like jazz. Jazz, no, jazz, just jazz mu musician or jazz music classes they call teach you jazz, jazz. teach you not only how to play your instrument but how other people should be playing theirs too. You're just like, you're, yeah. what happened? Um, I actually uh, started taking drum lessons and I was like, oh, I play Foo Fighters. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. And my teacher, who's been on the channel more than once, and is now in oh. Kansas City, Mr. Sean. Uh, he, Hi. he also threw me like you know um, he threw a bunch of he threw some jazz at me, and I was just like, I don't like why yeah because it's hard, but you know it, yeah it's true. Um, the struggle is actually what you know the hard is what makes it great. It's what makes you great if you you know stick with it. This got like a weird South Park inspirational ending right oh no because part of this is we're talking to new musicians as well hi oh, yeah. don't do this the more you're you gonna know. hate yourself no just kidding. come on now i'm just come i'm on. just i'm just new boot here's boot to boot. quitting before you start hey <laughs> but no my uh one of my best friends growing up like in middle school her dad was in a band and i would go over there all the time and he started teaching me guitar um and then we kind of made our own little like band that we didn't really do anything with High school, I got into like my first band and went from there. So speaking of my thirteen-year-old daughter, hey, hi, in her hey, new, in her new pajamas she got at the mall today. They're really cute. Thank you. Yes. I like the belt. I like the entire outfit. Well, she, she doesn't know the Punisher. This is a comic it book character. Doesn't matter. She gave me a comic. It is. Let me have I'm letting this. you know this is comic books. You tell her later. Let me have. This. Should I let my thirteen-year-old daughter uh, read Punisher? No. Comment yeah, down below. Don't. No, I should not. Please, you don't. You don't understand. She's not allowed to have weapons anymore. Because <laughs> he knows that he's going to be the one to get to. The Whoa! Ooh. That says more about you. Too bad I know that you drop your guard. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't peek around corners. No, I'm I am kidding. uncomfortable with the. Thank you for letting me start music today. when you were born. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I just. I tried. I tried teaching her. Uh, I tried teaching her how to use a sword because I have some swords. And what? and you got some swords. What the yeah, point? yeah. <laughs> Can we drink some more and play with your swords? Like we're not gonna play. Not on, not on camera. But I no no. I, I have the the practice the bamboo shin I you know the practice ones that they hurt like hell. But you know I'm not gonna kill her. She's not gonna kill me by accident. And I try teaching her, but she is naturally good at some things. She's, she's like me as a kid. She's naturally good at some things, but she doesn't want to take the lessons. She doesn't want to practice. She just, She's a teenager. She just wants to be good Same. at it and then move on to something else. Yeah, I know. And it's been a learning curve. I've, I've had to tell my wife, like, she's me. I'm sorry. She's This is how I was. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people at 13 were like that. No, some 13-year-olds some are driven. I mean, they're just like, oh, yeah, I've got a business. You know, I, bake, I, I have a business I started or, or I'm, you know, gathering clothes for the homeless or something like that. And you're just like, 13, I was... Trying not to, you know, light myself on fire. Mm -hmm. 
I still try not to what do that. What can Why? Why are you looking at me? It's, it's not even you, alright? I'm just... It's, you're good. Am I like the goblin of this group? <laughs> what no. Would there be anything wrong with that? And well, also, no, can and I be it's the kind of valid. Is there a rock, rock paper, scissors is that, is that more for that? Wait, is it? Why didn't you offer me any? Why didn't you offer me any? Yeah, I mean, for you. What the fuck? What no, the fuck, <laughs> dude? No, wait, no. Interview over. Hey, no, wait. <laughs> First of all, that's the sexy <laughs> song. So we're doing some cold Captain Morgan's Cannon Blast. Uh, I did a review of it. Link here. And it is... Wait, can I do it too? Sure. Link here. But okay. it is it is only good as a that. cold shot. Like Stevie Ray Vaughan said. Oh, hey, that's a cold shot, like baby. Oh, wait, are we doing it? <laughs> Yours isn't that big. You can't. You just... too. Hey. It is a you... shot. Yours is bigger than mine now. Look at the size okay. of these glasses. I'm not filling it up. Okay, you know what? You're gonna get another drink. I'm empty. Well, good. You, know where, you know where the craft services table is. Would you like me to get you a beverage? I got, I got a little bladder. You want to get a little burp? Uh, do you at least? Can you at least do the? the yeah. yeah, just pretend. Just pretend okay. there's something there. We're cutting this out. Someone else make a toast. I made one. Uh, to the revolution. <laughs> To the bride, to the bride. <laughs> okay, Hamilton. Holy fuck. You know, I only said. Ah. I so, feel like that's a chaser for this. Mm. I don't know. Oh, God. Wh whiskey after this is like, mm, that's cleansing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we talked about your your uh, musical uh, stuff. Things. Influences. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Interview's gone great. Either of you want to chime in? About. I don't know anything. Uh, about influences. Olivia's influences? Yeah. yeah she likes, you know, <laughs> she she likes, likes that cool, cool music. Like stuff. Simon That's and Silk Garfunkel, um, a lot of math rock. There's a birthday present I did uh, for you, a silk shirt. Catholic. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever heard of penis rock. music? It's <laughs> it's like, you it's like this new thing. Mm, like fake Catholic. Like C and E Catholic. Wow. Yeah. See any you, you, know, you, know, you know what that means? Okay. Yes. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I want. I always wanted to say that. Down. Is it down below? Is it up? Well, you know is where it? the like button Actually, is. You know where it is. The subscribe button's down there. Yeah. Subscribe. But uh, there's also, you know. Likes, Where's the share likes button? Uh, that's gonna be right about. Hold on. There. Yeah. Sh Share. Who remembers yes. when YouTube had a rating system? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks. <laughs> like he said, the show is not for minors, so you should know. Right. Yeah, if you remember when. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I do want to. This wanna... is so bad. <laughs> it's okay. So, now that we have a new drummer, I feel like this question could be asked again. Let's talk show memories. Okay, how many shows have you played with them? Oh, three. That's a wait. Three yeah. shows. That's a lie. Three. Oh yeah, because every shows. time we tried to play a house show when I first joined, two two failed shows. Three, it got broke up by the played. cops before we played. Wow, really? Two failed shows. Three actually played by the popo. Really? Yeah. Is that really it? Yeah. Two. Okay. One in the backyard and one at the. I'm not the really. Last, this band. Uh, then, yeah. <laughs> then the, the anyway. <laughs> so um, okay, of those I three. Wonder. What's your no, favorite show memory? Anything, anything weird or, or cool stand out? What What, what was the first let one? Let me ask you this. What the was first the... one was the Christmas show that we played, where Die Hard played at the at the show, and there were supposed to be other bands, but they they canceled. They Is that the one at that there. bar? Yeah. Who cancels on a Christmas show? What was the show? other one? Huh? What was the, the other, other one? one was the other bar. was Rebar, I think. Ah, oh, Rebar. Did we play it? I still got a drop No, it was... Uh, I've never even been there. It was the... Ah, oh, it's one of those bars. I don't remember. One of those bars. What bar was it? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, I honestly only remember the one show. Okay, so we played the Christmas show. Plus and then the we played one the we just show, played. And then we just played another show. That's <laughs> so <laughs> sad. However, so we've I done some live streams. Yeah. yeah, we did one live stream. <laughs> yeah, we did a live stream. That was fun. Like some parents. Yeah. Yeah. Like some parents? We were like yeah, we were parents. checking in. We were yeah, checking in on the on the viewers. I checked in on the oh, viewers okay. and was like, Brought hey. some pizza rolls. Yeah, you know, live streams are weird. Make sure they weren't. They weren't smooching with whoever they were sitting <laughs> with. 
No you smooches. Look, nice. You look like you're out of body right now. I I am like keep drinking. He's so like right. I'm out of this. I'm so. Uh, I'm, here. Right. I'm here. I'm here. Um, the I mean the the Christmas show is pretty interesting because oh that played, was the one where they're playing Die Hard. Yeah, that's the one I remember. Yeah, I don't remember. She's the other one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and that was interesting to play after. But a who movie. the hell cancels playing a Christmas show? The guy broke his arm or some shit. Oh, whatever. Before the show, you got another arm. The, the torn band that was on the on the bill broke his arm. Would yeah. you would you cancel a gig if you broke your arm? No. Sounds like a good I, 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 I You probably played, sound better. <laughs> he got visited by the Christmas ghosts, and they took him on this weird like journey to. You know, find himself and you know when they take you back in time. Sometimes that you time is the seventies, yeah. and it's crazy. Yeah, okay. that is crazy. That, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, it does suck if you if you break your arm at Christmas and you have to cancel the show. That does kind of suck. I feel like he should have shown up and got presents. I feel like you must know somebody called him. Dude, I need you to fill in. It was kind of anti-Semitic of them not to show up. Honestly. Wow. <laughs> and, and, You're the only wow. one that can say that. Yeah, because I'm Jewish. Yeah. How dare you not show up to this Christmas show? Yeah, how dare you not show up to this Christmas show? I showed up. I brought my Chinese food and everything. That's the best <laughs> Christmas dinner, though. I saw that. <laughs> or Denny's. Right. So, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry. Breathe. It's okay. So. What is, like, the... Is, are there any plans in the future? Are you got any, like... Thing you're going after, any dream shows or anything? I'm calling my shot right now. We're gonna be in shot California in by the shot. end of the year shot. for a show or two. I don't, I don't know how many, but this year I mean, doing at, it. at least one, at least one, maybe There's, half a one. Would yeah, be cool. half yeah. one. We'll show up, set our gear up, and then leave. Yeah, nice. and go back home. By next year, we will <clears> be touring. Yeah. We're going to do a fucking tour. Where? Yeah. But where? Everywhere. Wherever they'll have We're going to do a tour from Vegas to Henderson to Summerlin. Fuck <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, that if that counts, we've good. technically been to Boulder one time. That was Boulder fun. is, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a hike. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, there's going to be links down below for all their social media. Definitely keep track of them there. Um, Sometimes we post memes. Sometimes they post memes. Or, dang, sometimes dank memes. Or awkward videos like this very one that new, you're watching. Right new now. merch about Mark Zuckerberg fucking our wives. Sometimes harmful extremist content. Yes. Not not banal, just extremist. Just going right to extremist. Nope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. All right, cool. Seriously, though, thank you for watching. Um, what do we think? Are we going to try? Yeah. We're going to try. We're going to try right. a little bit. They're going to see what they can pull together up in room six. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you upstairs, room six. And if a bear's uh, watching this, we're coming for you. You have to legally tell us if bears are watching this. And we're going to poop next, right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll temporarily say goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. I hate, I... You, I hate you all. Yes. <laughs>
start you this one? You do start this one. Uh, this song is called I Eat Cigarettes. It's about eating fucking cigarettes. Woo! <laughs> If you want to know more about them, there's links down there. Definitely get their new EP when it comes out. Happy. I hope to I hope to review it. Hint, hint. <laughs> Feel free to send me a copy. I'll, I'll review it. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does make a difference. Feel free to go to room6.shop. Check out the uh, online store for merch. And uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye, guys. Smash that uh, like button. Like button? <laughs> like button. <laughs> Redo it. No. no, I'm fading out on that. <laughs>